Congress passed a temporary spending bill to keep the government open on the eve of Donald Trump's 100th day in office. The one-week stopgap bill would allow lawmakers to work out a way to keep the government funded until September 30th, the end of the fiscal year. President Trump has downplayed the significance of the 100-day milestone, but he says he believes the early days of his administration have been just about the most successful in the nation's history. Here's Errol Barnett. After signing one of the 31 executive orders of his presidency on Friday, this one aimed at opening up offshore oil drilling development, President Trump weighed in on the importance of the 100-day benchmark. It's a false standard, 100 days, but I have to tell you, I don't think anybody has done what we've been able to do in 100 days, so we're very happy. But as a candidate, Donald Trump laid out an aggressive 28-point action plan for his first 100 days. Totally renegotiate. NAFTA. Repeal and replace Obamacare. We're going to end Common Core. The president has fulfilled or moved on about half of the executive promises in the contract, including suspending immigration from what he calls terror-prone regions. But the president's two attempts at a travel ban are currently blocked by federal courts. Nominating Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch and this week introducing an overhaul of the tax code. Under the Trump plan, we will have a massive tax cut for businesses and massive tax reform in simplification. Still, the president has not sent to Congress any of the 10 bills the contract outlines. Mr. Trump flexed the nation's military muscle this month when he ordered a cruise missile strike on Syria after Bashar al-Assad's regime used chemical weapons against civilians. Believe in yourselves, believe in your future, and believe once more in America. The president was widely praised for his first address to Congress in February. But controversy quickly followed. In a series of tweets, four days later, Mr. Trump accused President Barack Obama of wiretapping Trump Tower during the campaign, a charge dismissed by FBI Director James Comey. With respect to the president's tweets about alleged wiretapping directed at him by the prior administration, I have no information that supports those tweets. In that same hearing before a congressional panel investigating alleged ties between the Trump campaign and the Russian government, Comey acknowledged a separate FBI investigation into the Trump campaign. As an eventful first 100 days comes to a close, the president is also reflecting on his new job. In an interview with Reuters, he said he expected the work of the president to be easier. And On Fox News Friday night, he was asked whether a second White House bid is in the far. cards. Do, do you ever think, well, maybe one term would be enough of this kind of life? Well, I mean, I want to see how we're doing. But I've always said it's going to be eight years, not four years. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Errol Barnett, Washington.